So the brother brought out that when we bring out the scriptures, uh, a man is not supposed to cover his head. Did you, do you remember hearing that? So uh, read, read that in uh, the shoulder. Sure. Let's go with that again. Because what, what it is, when we hear a commandment of God, right, we're supposed to apply it. If we can apply it right then, because he said make haste. So read what you got. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But, it, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Who was our head? I know they rest on the Lord is our head. That's not what he said. Read, listen closely. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Well, who was our head? Christ. So, because God and Christ is not the same. How you doing, brother, over there in the, in the white hat? We're here to help the community come over and uh, look at the signs and see what we got for you. Let's get one of these flyers. Brother, right here. Pay, pay attention. Just stick with me. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying. Every man praying or prophesying. So the scripture is coming out today. So this is prophecy. We're prophesying. We're not speaking our own words. And if you remember when we used to go into church back in the day, even now when we go into church, for some reason, we just knew when we walk in those church doors, we would what? Remove our hats, right or wrong. So in actuality, this is church right now. Right. We, you in the church right now. You're not That's in the physical right. building, but this is the real church right now because we're bringing out the truth according to the Bible. That's right. So as we were going to the church building back in the day and we move our hats, the same respect. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Having his head covered. So as you notice, no one else has their head covered right now. But, but you read. Dishonor is his head. Dishonoring his head. So you don't want to dishonor Christ, right? So that's a sign of repenting. That's what we're talking about, making haste. When we hear a commandment, we apply it right then. That's something that was simple that we can apply. That's that's showing honor to Christ right now. Bring it up. In the scriptures. So now get Leviticus 21. Uh, I, I see, you, if you notice around different brothers, uh, we... For the most part, we don't shave our beard. Uh, different ones have different beards, but it's a com do you know it's a commandment that we're not supposed to, to shave our beard off? Did you know that? So, so do you shave? Now we get taped up. We go to the barber, you know, get get taped up, right? And uh, but but we don't destroy whatever we can grow. Why? Because it's a commandment. We know Rick Ross and uh, what is it? Uh, beard? Uh, what's the thing? Beard game, right? That was a movement or whatnot. But that's not what. That's not why we do it. We're not, we're, not, we're not doing it for a trend. We're doing it because it's a commandment for the Most High God. That's right. What's your name? Kelly. Kelly. Kelly? All right, Brother Kelly. I'm the Mac. So let's show you a commandment that we were never taught in Christianity. Bring it the up. biggest religion. Read this. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. They, they shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall they what? Shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall they what? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. This is in Leviticus. This is a commandment from God for us as men. Because we can think back. It's slavery days, right? As far as our brothers go, they would shave their beards off and they would ball their heads and do what? Boy this, boy get over there and sit down, boy go do that, boy do that. So they would disrespect us from shaving our beards and balding our heads. But now we do it because what? We got swag. We want to attract that sister, whatever the case may be. Okay, listen, we, you can still, we, we got swag now because we are applying the, the commandments. So is that something, is that something that you can do? Let, let's get it. Read what you got. This is the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 10 and verse 4. Wherefore, a nun took David's servants and shaved off one half of their beards. They shaved off their beards. This is a, a total humiliation right here, what's happening. Total disrespect. A horrible thing that was happening, read. And cut off their garments, even the in, even in the middle, even to their buttocks. Even to the buttocks. So now, brothers, what? Now we wear, the brothers wear our pants willingly showing the, 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 the asses back there. Read. And sent them away. When they told it unto David, he sent to meet them, because the men were greatly ashamed. The men were greatly ashamed. 
So we have Charles Barkley, who is uh, influencing people because they're on the TV. We have uh, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, who's influencing our, our communities, our young men. Why? Because they're in the spotlight. They are, what are quote unquote successful. So they are influencing brothers to shave and bald their heads and things of that nature. Bring it tattoos out. and stuff like that. We're not supposed to get tattoos. So I want to ask you, like you remove your hat. Are you able to grow your beard? Can you grow your beard from this day forward? Don't let, don't, don't cut that thing up. What you got? That's all I got. That's how I grow. You don't grow any beard, sir. Okay, so whatever you can grow, just don't destroy it. We know certain brothers, they have certain jobs and occupations. Certain brothers are in the law enforcement. They got to shave with different things, uh, the military. Okay, but they do what they can. They, they don't destroy it. They have a little, you know. All right, so now you, you I heard the fringes come out. You understand about the fringes? You know what we have on? Am I supposed to steal from you? So one of the fringes stand for that. Are you supposed to lie to me? Another friend stand for that. Am I supposed to look at his wife and have lustful thoughts about his wife in my mind? Another friend stand for that. Am I supposed to, uh, is he supposed to kill that brother over there? Another friend stand for that. These fringes are symbol, symbolisms of the commandments, how we're supposed to live our life to keep us on the right track. That's, right. That's what they're for. In addition to that, the fact that we are royalty, so it's part of our royal dress code. That's right. We kings out here, man. We got swag now, brother, because we do what God said do. That's right. We're not just doing this, you know what I'm saying? We're doing it, it's a commandment. So we, we uh, when, when we first came in, a lot of us, we, we did what's known as uh, poor man fringes. Meaning what? The shirt you have, you can get you some scissors, and you can go around the, 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 the ends of that shirt, and you can cut, little cuts, to create makeshift fringes, right? Right. And then you can get your ribbon of blue. The blue can be light blue, dark blue, it doesn't matter, it just needs to be blue. Right. Read it. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Yeah. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the children of Israel. This book is our book. The, our past facts, the solutions for our future, and the solutions to get out of this torment of captivity here, right. brothers and sisters. Babies getting killed in the neighborhoods right. every week. Right. This is our solution. It's, it's not a red man's book. It's our book. Right. He says, speak unto the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Right. It's not for everyone. Right. But if you notice, this book is where? In every hotel. They give it freely in the jails. It's everywhere. It's the most sold book on the planet. But we've been falsely thought that the book is a, a white man's book. It's right. not. Read it. Number. On the top. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes. Tell them to put fringes. Read. In the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Our, our, our brothers and, and our family still having children today? So he said throughout what? Throughout their generations. We are still generating. Well, why the hell did my father, mother, grandmother, grandfather teach me about the fringes? Because it was hidden from them. They didn't know we were destroyed. We were in Christianity. Right. Read. And that they put, put upon the fringe of the rip of the borders a ribbon of blue. Hey, happy Sabbath brothers going into unique styles. Happy Sabbath brothers. And hey, y'all come over here and talk with the brothers because we got to bring out some truth to kill about the neighborhoods, man. Yes, it's the Sabbath day. Oh, that's a barbershop. Okay. So you got the fly? Yeah, I got one. Brother, we in the last days. Time running out. You got to get with these brothers to come to the school. Are you married? You have children? Okay, so get this. God has spoke to you today. It's up to you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth